Here I am fossil collecting in the summer months. Welcome to Lyme Regis Fossils. We're now collecting in the winter months and here is a lovely backbone of an ichthyosaur recently found. Well come with me along the Jurassic coast and see the fossil finds I make in this stormy November weather. I'm doing really early morning starts to find the fossils. A stormy old day at Lyme Regis and I'm standing down at the ammonite pavement. You can see the ammonites there on the limestone platform. Well, as the tide starts to drop back, have a look at this wonderful little fossil find as I pluck this plesiosaur backbone out of the surf. You can see the shape it's got. It's kind of different shape than a lot of the backbones I found like that. You can see the rib attachments. It's a bit battered and worn by the sea's actions, but still, I'm really proud of that find. I'm right round here in Pinay Bay, right at the back of Pinay Bay at low tide. And you can see the sea is really rough. Look at those lovely layers there, the Jurassic and starting to go into the Triassic. Some more fossil hunting success. You can see those really nice backbones, those articulated backbones from an ichthyosaur. You can see some rib attachments and some different formation on them. A nice ammonite ground down by the attrition of the sand and sea. I leave those big ones there for everyone to see, but you can see the chambers of the creature that it filled with water or gas to give its buoyancy in the sea. I like making the sort of tentacles of the ammonite, if you like, and uh, that's where it would have protruded out of the end chamber there. And uh, the morphology of the ammonites is very interesting. I found a whacking great plagiostoma fossilized shell there. The sea's really being backed up today. It's been so rough. Here's some fossil finds. Here's some fossil shells, some gastropod shells in green sand rock. We go, dark clouds over Pinay Bay. That looks a bit ominous. I might have to find shelter at some point. It's been quite sunny so far, so that's been good. Here's one of those lovely big ammonites left on the beach for all to see. Probably Eretites bucklandi, that particular species. Here's a large tree having crashed down in a landslide onto the shoreline. I'm hunting along the Jurassic coast for my fossil finds and I've made a nice that. ammonite fragment fossil find here, you can see. Quite a nice chunk of an ammonite. I'll take that back and that can be one of the things for a doorstop. Fossil oyster shell that I've just found. I'm gonna uh, put some seawater on it and give it a bit of a wash. Get that mud off it. These fossil oyster shells were given a lot of myth and legend back along and they were called devil's toenails back in their day. So quite a specific sort of mention for those back in the old days. I'm looking at some storms brewing up and here's a piece of fossil wood, probably monkey puzzle tree, fossilized from the Jurassic era. And then to on the beach, that lovely eroded root system of a tree. I love driftwood when I walk along the beach. I pick up any amount of that that looks good. And a storm has now brewed up. I can feel spots of rain. I'm getting underneath this lovely lattice of plant material. It's almost like a thatch there above me and sheltering from the storm down there on the beach. You can have a look outside and see the rain in Pinay Bay. It's absolutely pelting down. So I'll wait that one out until the lovely sunny weather comes back. Here I am starting off again on my journey. I've had a bit to eat. I'm going back through along Pinay Bay and I'm gonna take you and show you some fossil finds on the way. Well, look at the sheer size of those two backbones from an ichthyosaur, real big ichthyosaur backbones there in that large block that's fallen down and out to sea. It's a very fresh block on the beach. I've managed to extract the first one. Look at that. Looks like there'll be some nice detail in there when I start developing that. I think I'll leave some rock on it and keep it in the stone to show the original matrix from which it came. You can see all the stormy weather 
and there is some chalcedony, some lime bay agate, the mauve translucent material you get on the beach. A lovely little waterfall coming down in Pinay Bay there you can see with moss and also too as the sea hits the back of the cliffs it's making little inroads into areas and little sort of hollows there in the cliffs itself and uh, too dangerous to go anywhere near because those cliffs are so sheer. I stay away from the dangerous cliffs because they're liable to fall suddenly and without warning. As I'm walking back I'm keeping my eyes peeled. I can spot now down there a little piece of crinoid, the sea lily stem. I'm always finding those on this particular stretch of the coastline. They're quite prevalent through here. Lovely star-shaped ossicles as you walk down into Pinay Bay you find in amongst the rock pools. You can see those lovely layers there and the stormy weather still around. I really hope the sun stays now as I get back into Lyme. A fossil ammonite called Schlotheimia in Germany or Schlot Slothemia in England, the Slothemia really ammonites, ammonite you can see with those lovely suture patterns on. The weather's closing in now and it's really started to rain. The waterfalls are starting up. Part of the old rail that the uh, quarrymen used to use to wheel out their carts to mine the limestone out here because it had good hydraulic properties for making marine cement. And I'm back on the Ammonite graveyard. Really nice Ammonites to see as I walk back towards Lyme Regis now. The rain is starting to fall again. I've got quite a few drops hitting me and uh, hopefully a bit of sun will come down onto the ammonite pavement and uh, highlight some of those beautiful fossil specimens. I love seeing the relief there of the ammonites in that limestone platform as the sun shines on it. Such a beautiful little spot to see but it's eroding away at a rate of knots. Here is the rail the old quarrymen used to push the carts out to mine the limestone. I'm heading back towards Lyme Regis. You can see the historic cob down there in the distance. A real grey day now. A bit of brightness coming along and I've just found an ichthyosaur backbone, a little one, on the way down back towards Lyme Regis I'm going. You can see it down there in that crevice. A small ichthyosaur backbone is a small ichthyosaur backbone. I do like finding them and they're kind of like a, a top trump in a way. Uh, you find the ammonites, the pyrite ones, all day long at low tide, whereas these little backbones are something more of a find, and even the small ones, good fun for me to pick up, and uh, it makes you know that you've got your eye in. And I can see that block there, that's the sort of block that has the large plagiostoma shells on, and there's a really nice one there on the top of that block. That will prepare out a bit better, it's not too water-worn either. As I head back to Lyme Regis, the storm clouds have brought some nice rainbows to the town. You can see there, golden cap in the distance. It's nice to find the fossils washed out by the sea's actions. The sea has been really stormy, so I have a nice backpack full of finds, saved from the destruction of the sea. And those finds I'll clean up and show you how those go in future videos. Thanks very much for watching our fossil hunting film on YouTube. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.